Hillary Clinton is promising to let her husband run the economy if she wins. But is all the nostalgia over the prosperous Bill Clinton years really justified? Correspondent Peter Ducey takes a fair and balanced look. Hillary Clinton is the only presidential candidate promising to move her top economic advisor into the White House residence with her. My husband, who I'm going to put in charge of revitalizing the economy because, you know, he knows how to do it. Is Bill Clinton the guy for the job? Well, during his tenure as president, nearly 23 million jobs were created, more than Reagan and both Bushes combined. The GDP grew an average of 3.9 percent annually, higher than most modern presidents, and unemployment on his last day in office was low, 4.2 percent. These were things he did. It wasn't necessarily things that his administration did, meaning that these were decisions he made. It's possible that he knows more about economic policy in the United States than anybody in the country. But on paper, husband and wife are split on a very popular issue among 2016 Democratic primary voters, Wall Street reform. Clinton's platform outlines a plan to, quote, impose accountability on Wall Street. But Bill Clinton's record reflects a far friendlier attitude. He deregulated Wall Street when he signed a bill that repealed the Glass-Steagall Act, and that landed him on a Time magazine list, 25 people to blame for the financial crisis. Experts now say that Clinton's success came from collaborating with a Republican Congress on things like welfare reform and free trade. I just feel like this is more of a softball she's throwing out there. Remember the good old times? But sure, if we look at the good old times and we peel back the details, those are conservative principles behind that prosperity. Um, and I, I really don't see Bill Clinton being a dynamic player in shaping economic policy. And you know who else has said Bill Clinton hasn't been the strongest president in modern history when it comes to strengthening the economy? Bill Clinton, who thinks Barack Obama did better. No president. Not me, not any of my predecessors. No one could have fully repaired all the damage that he found in just four years. And during her last campaign for president, Hillary actually pitched her husband for a different job, a sort of goodwill ambassador to hostile foreign countries. So offering him on the economy may be a purely political calculation. And as we've seen, it also makes him fair game for attacks from the presumptive Republican nominee. Brett. Peter, thank you.